It's often said that nature is a thing of true beauty. And that's something that throughout my career I've wholeheartedly believed in and supported. I'm Professor Ryan Fox and today you and I are going to be taking a little trip through nature. Now it's said that the vast majority of the UK is in fact woodland and in urban areas over 7.1% is urban green space. Wow! In fact the amount of green space in the UK altogether is so large that it could comfortably accommodate your mum. And it's these urban green spaces that we're going to be looking at today. What inhabits such a space? what such a space may look like, and how changes in the UK's system of geopolitical standings has affected these spaces over time. Let's begin, shall we? We can trace our story back a couple of thousand years, millions in fact, to when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. The dinosaurs were quickly wiped out by an asteroid that collided with Earth. I know what we're all thinking, what a bunch of silly twats for not moving away from it. This began a chain reaction in nature, seeing new breeds of wildlife from mammals, ducks, fish and entirely new breeds of plant life. This species, for example, is known as Regis Barbosa and it's been around for thousands of years. The barbs of which, when coming off the plant, can be very painful. This one here just called me a talentless prick who should go back to making sketches about fitness instructors. Here of course we see some ducks performing, potentially one of nature's greatest migrations, apart from that time a Romanian family tried to move in next door to Nigel Farage. The diverse wildlife system of the UK is a menagerie of many different things and it's for this reason that I've enlisted the help of an expert. We're going to be talking to Dr. Haley Crook, an expert in the field of wildlife reimbursement. Now you may find yourself at this point asking, Professor Fox, what is wildlife reimbursement? And to tell you the truth, I've not got a monkeys. It honestly sounds like one of those terms where we just make up so that we scientists sound clever. Like, redistribution of natural resource, or evolution. Anyway, let's hand over now to our expert. Reimbursement in the wildlife can take many forms. It can be the repopulation of ponds, woodlands and urban green spaces. It's beautiful to watch wildlife return and reclaim space. See, nature documentaries aren't just rhinos getting busy and those baboons with the massive red asses. Well, there you have it. Now, just before the show ends, we've got time for one more thing. So I'd like to talk to you today about something very special that we're seeing for the first time in years right across the country. This is, of course, a very special kind of pond. It's a pond that's filled with fossilised microbes that are beginning to come back to life. Now these microbes are hundreds if not thousands of years old and what's truly amazing is the sheer ratio between male and female microbes. There are 10 microbes for every female microbe, meaning that most of these microbes will spend their entire lives as virgins. Haha, <laughs> fucking losers. So what does this mean for our wildlife scene? Well it means that ponds such as this will soon become teeming with life. Life that could eventually grow into a superhuman mass and eat us all. But that probably won't happen. So there are, as well, a lot of different benefits to this resurgence, as it were. We see lower levels of carbon dioxide. The regrowth of some water-based plant life. Let's take a quick recap and look at how we've explored the changes in our wildlife biodiversity so far. 
we'll begin our recap by looking at... Oh! Oh, that... Oh! I think I've just stood in a massive mound of dog shit. Oh, guys, Terry, can we get... Can I get a wipe or something? I think that just about covers us for time this week. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next week, where we have an exclusive interview with a man who's been living with hyenas for the past month. He says it wasn't always easy, but at least he's laughing now. Thank you very much again for watching. We'll see you next week.